I wonder what Tom Cruise has on Guillermo del Toro. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Turn off the light. Hey, where's my doll? They don't like bright lights, you know. They're horrible. Who, Sally? Those things. What do you want? Don't be Know what movie producers should be afraid of? Katie Holmes. The Bride of Krusenstein has starred in flop after flop since her marriage to the A-lister turned religious zealot, some of which failed to reach even a million dollars. Yet for some reason, respected master of horror Guillermo del Toro has cast her as one of the leads in his latest effort, which he produced and co-wrote. The film also stars Bailey Madison, best known for her nails on a chalkboard turn at Adam Sandler's Just Go With It. Although, to be fair, while Del Toro is renowned for his gruesome artistry, not every one of his films has been a work of art. As for Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, it's based on a 1973 made-for-TV movie and is interestingly directed by comic book artist Troy Nixie, who has worked on numerous projects with Mike Mignola, the creator of Hellboy, Del Toro's best-known films here in the U.S. Nixie sent Del Toro a few stills from his short film Latchkey's Lament while in production, and those picks, along with working in the same circles, led Del Toro to offer Nixie the directing gig on Don't Be Afraid of the Dark networking in action. So while Katie Holmes might be a big red flag to some moviegoers, distributor Film District certainly hopes that fans will trust in Del Toro. Film District is working hard to build their reputation in the horror genre, and their very first entry in Sidious was a sleeper hit. Don't Be Afraid of the Dark was acquired from Miramax when Disney restructured it, so let's go find out if Film District bought a hidden gem or a lemon. Did Katie Holmes ruin this movie? Um, no. No? Oh, good. She made it a bit more interesting. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. That's great. So, so what did you think of the movie? Overall, I think it was it was okay. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Oh, okay. Why wasn't it scary? Could you see everything coming, or? Yeah, it, it gave me most of the clues ahead of time, so. Yeah? What made you go and see it today? Well, mostly the previews. We yeah. were curious of how it would seem if it was scarier than other movies, and it wasn't. What did you guys think of? Oh, go ahead, yeah. No. It's okay. uh, what did you guys think of having a kid as like the lead character? It was better because it gave a more imaginative mind, even though nobody really believed the child at first. Mm -hmm. You believed her though, right? Yeah. You were like, yeah, yeah. we saw him, we saw him, <laughs> right? Yeah. So were the creatures scary in themselves at all? Um, I can make scary ones. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. That's great. So what would you tell people? Should people see this movie? I don't think I would recommend it more. I think movies like Insidious were a bit more scarier, but oh, okay. this one, no. Yeah. Insidious, like, got me so scared. <laughs> yeah, it's in the same studio, but, you know, they can't all have, they can't all be hits, right? Yeah. What would you give this on a one to ten? A six. A six? 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 Yeah. All right, cool. Anything else you'd like to add about the movie? All right, thank you. Thank you so thank much you. for your time. So it looks like Don't Be Afraid of the Dark isn't a big hit with audiences, but to be fair, we couldn't talk to a lot of people because of this impending hurricane. Have you seen Don't Be Afraid of the Dark? Share your thoughts down below, and if you agree with the six rating it got here on the show. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from Regal Ewok, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies. So I'm helping YouTube test out a new end card. You can click here to watch my latest movie reviews. You can click here to watch my cult hit show Movie Math, or you can click here to watch my new series, Countdown, where I recommend movies you can watch while you're waiting for the most anticipated blockbusters, like The Hunger Games. Oh, and I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks for watching.